Hi friends, I have been using my Maya pre-seasoned cast iron tawa for the past one and a half years. I have already made two videos on this. You can find the links of these in the description below. I am very happy about this purchase as I have been able to make non-sticky dosas of different varieties on this tawa. I use this tawa almost 3-4 uh, times in a week yet I have managed to retain the seasoning till date. So. Based on a request of many of my viewers, in this video, I am going to explain about the care and maintenance of this pre-seasoned tawa. Also, I am going to show how to re-season the tawa if the seasoning is gone. So, I would request you all to watch the video till the end as I am sure you will find this video very useful. Also, I have uh, uh, made a comparison between iron and cast iron in the video. So, come on, let's see. So I have a used tawa here, I used it for making dosa this morning and uh, I'll show how to wash and uh, clean and store it on a daily basis. So you have used the tawa very sparingly and there's not too much grease on the outside. You can use uh, just warm water like this. Uh, you should not be using any scrubber or detergent for this. You can use a sponge like this. You can wipe it with a clean cloth like this and uh, let it dry and you have to apply oil on both the sides. But in case you have used it uh, continuously for a longer period and uh, for making dosas such that you can see a lot of grease outside here, this is all the oil has been accumulated here, then uh, it needs uh, better cleaning in which case you can pour water can switch on the gas and let the water boil for some time once the water boils you can switch off the gas you can see the grease leaving out from the sides so now i'll throw this water so you can leave it to dry for some time and then uh, wipe it before applying oil so i'm using a clean cloth for this you can have small pieces of cloth cut like this for this purpose. So you can apply a light coating of oil. If there is moisture, rust will be formed. So it has to be dry first and then it has to be wiped clean before applying a coating of oil. So you can use any oil which you use in the kitchen. A thin layer of coating is enough both on the inside as well as the outside. This because I have been using on the gas it is uh, this shown. But once I apply the oil, it will come normal. So oil is applied to prevent rusting. And on the tawa also, it prevents uh, rusting. And also it retains the seasoning. By applying oil, you actually uh, prolong your seasoning. Now that oil has been applied on both the sides, how do you store it? Uh, it's better to place it in between uh, paper napkins or cloth napkins so that uh, any moisture will be absorbed. I store it in bags like these. I find it uh, convenient to store in this. This covers both the top and the bottom. So I just put it inside like this. So this way it is uh, protected from uh, dust. Uh, it also helps in rust prevention. So let's see the do's and don'ts of uh, cleaning and maintenance of this cast iron tawa. You have to always uh, lightly wash after every use in warm water or if there is more residue or sticky particles it is better to heat water on the tawa and then uh, rinse it in warm water. Always uh, dry and then wipe it before applying a coating of oil and then always keep it covered. Now the don'ts. You should never scrub uh, the tawa because the seasoning will uh, wear off. No detergent should be used for cleaning. And then uh, never leave it open without uh, oil because uh, again it will form rust, it can collect uh, dust. And then most importantly never uh, soak in water for a long time because again the seasoning will wear out because of that. Many viewers ask me if this tawa has to be seasoned before uh, starting to make dosas for the first time. I would like to tell that this is a pre-seasoned tawa, it comes seasoned. So all you have to do is uh, wash it with warm water and get started. Re-seasoning will be required 
only in two cases that is when rust is formed or whenever you start making dosa you are not able to make dosa freely and it gets stuck on the tawa that is when the seasoning is worn off and you have to re-season it so let's see how to re-season now till date I have tried to maintain the seasoning of my tawa in the last one and a half years. I will give you tips of how to maintain the seasoning for a long period in the end of the video. So please watch the video till the end. I am going to show how to do re-seasoning as given in the manual as I have not done re-seasoning till date. I will just follow the steps given in the manual and I will be showing that here. So let's see how to do the re-seasoning. So firstly to remove the stuck food particles you pour water on the pan you can add a little soap liquid uh, switch on the gas and uh, scrub it with a scrubber like this. This is the only time you can use soap liquid and brush. Once the residue has been scrubbed off you rinse it with warm water then wipe it clean wipe it dry and then apply oil on both the sides little oil on both the interior and the exterior both the top and the bottom so now that I have applied oil once you can switch on the gas and uh, preheat the pan gradually so start with a low flame and then increase gradually to a higher temperature till it reaches a smoky point and while on gas add some more oil to the pan surface and spread evenly Now you have to keep heating the pan till it reaches uh, smoking point. So now the smoking point has reached. This seasoning process has to be repeated several times so that the pan is well seasoned. You retain the seasoning for a longer period. Pouring oil on gas when, when on gas, spreading it evenly, let it reach smoking point. I am doing it for the first time, following the manual. So those of you who want to do re-seasoning, that is if you get uh, stuck particles, you are not getting your dosas properly, follow this method. So after repeating the process 2-3 times, switch off the gas and you have to allow the pan to cool down. Let it dry thoroughly and then you can store it in a dry place. Although I have shown here the method of re-seasoning, I have never found the need to re-season my tawa as I have tried to uh, retain the seasoning in my tawa. In all this one and a half years by following a few tips which I would like to share here now. So before going to the tips let's compare iron and cast iron. So this is one uh, roti tawa and a couple of kadais here which are uh, made of iron and uh, this is uh, my cast iron tawa as you know. Earlier my dosa tawa was also made of iron. I had one round tawa and one square tawa which I used for more than 20 years. So let me now run through comparison between both the cookware. So basic difference is uh, iron is made out of uh, iron sheets or plates. Whereas cast iron like the tawa here is made by pouring uh, molten iron into molds of the desired shape and size. So because of which this uh, cast iron is uh, porous and hence it is not safe to wash in dishwasher. Cast iron is also brittle so it will break. So care should be taken while storing it or handling it because it can break easily whereas iron will not break but iron can bend if exposed to uneven heating. Cast iron does not uh, bend or lose shape like iron. You can sprinkle water and check like this. Then after that you increase the temperature. So one thing you can follow is sprinkle little salt. This is also an age old tip which I have learned from my mother. Hope you found this video useful. Uh, please share your uh, comments and uh, queries uh, in the comment section. Thank you for watching. See you soon in my next video. Bye bye till then.